Yo guys, so it's time to do the benchmark of the Huawei Mate 8. This is the phone, the flagship phone uh, from Huawei uh, for the year 2016. I'm pretty sure that Huawei will release like a P9 or something like that, you know, later this year. But this is the beast that we have from Huawei and, uh, you know, it's the, it's, it's the best uh, phone that you can get right now um as far as you know 2016 phones are concerned you know the best battery life and all that so i'm gonna be doing a full review uh where we will be taking a look at all the aspects of this device so in this video i'm gonna be doing a benchmark uh test here so you can notice on the top that i have just 12 percent of battery uh but that that is not gonna affect the the performance of this phone because we're gonna go into settings and and we're gonna go into advanced settings and then we're gonna go into battery manager and then we're gonna select the power plan from smart to performance which is uh, I mean in smart uh, at smart mode you can uh, use your phone like normal task and all that but if you want to get the um, best scores or you know slightly better gaming performance and all that I don't know if that's gonna help it but uh, we're just gonna select the performance mode because you know if I'm gonna do the benchmark on smart mode it might not score as much as it's going to be uh, going to do on the performance mode so I'm just gonna select it and go ahead and launch the Geekbench 3 benchmark app so the reason why I'm doing this uh, specific video for the benchmark is that this phone has a Kirin 950 chipset uh, which is way faster than uh, than any other 2015 chipset you know uh, also it has the GPU Melody T880 uh, MP4 which is quad core uh, this very same GPU will be inside of the Galaxy S7's uh, Exynos variant so it will give you uh, give us a, like a hint you know hint of that performance that we will see on the S7 so you can see it's very fast and it should be done in a few seconds 95% and let's see here okay so we have 6208 multi-core score and 1637 single core score now the multi-core score is uh, way better than the iphone 6s than uh, and also the galaxy s6 edge uh even better than the note 5 uh, and uh, that's pretty cool uh, but the single core score is actually less than the iPhone 6s uh, I know the 6s scores around 2500 plus uh, no it's, it's around like 2400 or something but it's better uh, than the single core score of the Mate 8 but but definitely it does a very awesome job when it comes to multi-core score so I'm just gonna go back and uh, launch the Intuitu benchmark app so we have this one installed so i ran the test previously on smart mode and i got the score of 91,213. so i'm gonna run this benchmark again on the performance uh, mode so i'm just gonna hit test again and uh, of course it's gonna launch some 3d stuff so i'm gonna skip the video a little bit but just to show you a little bit frame rate on the 3d test here is doing nice uh, i can't see any frame rate info uh, on this benchmark app but it is is doing fine and this is a 6 inch 1080p display so it's a huge phone uh, phone display we have and uh, you know might not be suitable for for everyone because it's really big so okay so we are getting around 25 or 23 fps um, that is I think that is nice not bad I mean, definitely the, the, the pixels and all that stuff, you know, it's a six inch display, so fairly doing a nice job here. So now it's time for 3D physics simulation. Also, I want to point out that this is actually a four gigabyte RAM variant. Uh, so yeah, uh, you will get better multitasking performance compared to the three gigabyte RAM model. So, and also uh, the four gigabyte RAM model also gives you 64 gigs of uh, internal memory so you can install a lot of apps and games without worrying about the uh, the internal memory or storage so 70% done
All right, guys, so we are done, and you can notice that it actually scored a little bit better than before. So we have 93,145 score uh, with the performance mode on, and uh, you can see here that the 3D performance is off the charts, 18,975, and uh, that's pretty nice, you know, uh, because the GPUs, of course, the Melee T880, like I said before, this GPU will be inside of the Galaxy S7's Exynos variant, and you can also see RAM score and all that. But it's just for the sake of fun, you know, I don't really give a shit to the benchmarks, you know, because the real life performance is the performance that I care about, which is the, uh, you can see, uh, you can say that, um, boot up or multitasking or apps opening you know the real life test real life performance that we will be doing uh, in the coming days uh, so I'm gonna do my best to do these videos as soon as I can before the um, Galaxy S7 announcement so I'm gonna cover up this phone completely so you can stay tuned for all those videos and I will catch you guys in the next one peace out